Okay, so I am attempting to make these brackets, see that? You lay a, one, this is for a one by eight. I need a one by six. I bought these at Hobby Lobby for $7.99. So I'm gonna make ones that will fit for the shelves I need. Um, wish me luck. So first here I have my first bend. It's marked, it's clamped. Everything's screwed in, we're going for it. Okay guys, in all my glory here, no makeup, no nothing, but we're making shelf brackets, okay? Steel is in the vise, it's at the mark that I want bent, and then we just hammer it until it goes down. Here we go. I'm gonna turn the sound off for the next video because you're not gonna wanna hear all of it. Okay, here's that first bend. Not bad, right? Can you see that? Pretty good. On to the next. I would say the first attempt at this was not good, but with a little help with from Hubby, I feel like I have been able to master this. Well, master's a really generous word. But anyway, so this is what I've made so far. I've bent them with a hammer. What are these? Uh, sledge, sledge hammers. Okay, so this is the first one I made. Not bad. Okay, this is the second one. Um, now I get to do the scary part, which is use this grinder to cut them off. Yes, yeah, sparks fly everywhere. It's a little scary, but I did that one, so I know I can do this one. All right, safety glasses on reading glasses on top of it <laughs> and here we go all right lord help me all right here's the brackets done i started drilling the placement holes but my drill died so had to charge it but it's all charged now so here's the brackets all done i'm going to put holes in to go under the shelf two holes to go into the wall and then i'm going to spray paint them all flat black and we're going to put up some shelves this one has all the holes drilled and i even like did a little bit extra on the top so that the screw will be flush, okay? So a little trick I did was really classy here and you know, technical is I made a little template and so it goes over the long side and then I could mark all my holes. So that's what I did and then I flipped it over and then I did it for the short side also. So. I know, super technical, but it worked. And I didn't have to worry about the placement of the holes. So now time to punch and drill.